Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Y'all, I am currently headed to the store. Um, today is Monday, Memorial Day. Happy holiday to everybody. Um, headed to the store so I can get the rest of the stuff so I can get my dinner started. But y'all wanted to get on here and talk about the, uh, the Instagram live that Gerard has um, graced us with. Yeah, Gerard had a lot to say. He was, you can see in, in his uh, demeanor, he was pissed off. Um, he was angry. You know, he, he just had all of this stuff going on um, around him, surrounding him. He's just tired of Olivia mess. He's tired of it. You know, he's on there just basically telling it like it is and and sort of like you know some of us kind of speculated because still at the end of the day we don't know the whole you know the whole story you know but we from what we see and what we pay attention to is is what we you know we kind of figure out what's going on at the end of the day right so Gerard gets on there and he let it be known you know, she is trying to hold, you know, his kids back from him. She she then took the baby phone, then took, you know, her son's iPad or took the FaceTime off, of I, off his iPad just so she can be spiteful, spiteful and not let him talk to his daddy. And not let you know his daughter talk to her daddy. That that is the most spiteful mess I have ever heard. Spiteful. Spiteful. You know how 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 are you supposed to? How can you sit up there and fix fix your mouth to say that he doesn't do anything for my kids? Um, he doesn't communicate with my kids. He don't send money for my kids. But this man is clearly showing us that this is what he's doing. He he's tired. He he's tired. He's fed up with all the nonsense. You know, he's he had enough of everything that he that's been how he's been treated. Y'all, live is wrong. She said she sat there. And basically has been lying on him. She made him out to be a bum. She made him out to be a bum. He broke it down like I was doing this, I was doing that. He said he couldn't cook, but he wanted her to show him how. But that she wasn't going to show him how. Because she figured if she showed him how to cook, he can go out there and do that for another woman. So she held that from him. So he wouldn't know how to do something, so he would never leave. That's what certain people do. They'll sit there, and they will hold some stuff back. They won't show you something. They will continue to belittle you just so you won't leave. And just just to make it seem like, you know, I'm the only one... Um, I'm the only one for you. Nobody else will want you. And that's not the case because with Gerard, he's being, he's, he's evidently known this, this other chick for a while. You know, he, he said, what he said, he left her to go marry Liv. And maybe he had to go and figure that out for him to get his mind right. Y'all, Liv is broken um she calls him a narcissist but live as a narcissist um she thinks everything revolves around her and it doesn't it does not revolve revolve around her um she wants to bash him to make herself look good instead of keeping it 100 with everybody 
she wants to say and then you know everybody that really that really feels live and that and that see that can't see her doing any wrong agree with her instead of calling her out on her shit they agree with her oh girl he is a deadbeat you put him on child support you need to take him for what he's worth no you don't you need to get on your own shit and get your life together the man said he got you know he working on his credit you know he had to leave somebody to better himself because he knew staying there he wasn't gonna ever go nowhere and it happens it happens y'all because like with me and my baby daddy it didn't work we was together for a long time it, it just wasn't meant for us to be together um we got three kids and that's all you know what i'm saying we had our our good times bad times bad times may have outweighed the good times but it it wasn't meant for us to be together he had to leave to go better himself and i am so much more happier that we not together because it wasn't meant to be never bash the man never bash anybody that he's with because the next person made him better be with somebody that make you better and that's what gerard did you know now he wants to um make sure that his kids are straight you know and she's talking about send me money just to be able to talk to your kids what mother does that she's bitter she bitter and she's broken at the same time because a broken woman um if she wasn't broken she wouldn't be messing around with so many guys back to back and back to back getting the names tatted on her neck she that is not a good look for her kids especially her daughters to see all of these men coming in and out now you said you love this man he the one but i thought you said that about brandon I thought you said it about gerard and all these men couldn't be uh couldn't be lying because they all say the same thing live is the problem live sits there and make it seem like she perfect she does everything i pay this i pay that and see i think where live get everything confused and wrong is she think that gerard is supposed to pay her rent he's supposed to pay the light bill he's supposed to do this and that now y'all they were married i don't know how alimony goes or i don't know how that goes but right now we're talking about the fact of child support right i don't know why she think that he's supposed to cover all of her expenses and plus send money for the kids i don't i don't i don't understand why she thinks that's supposed to be the case now like i said once a divorce is finalized i don't know what's that spousal support i have no idea on how that all goes down or how much somebody's going to get paid but she thinks that he's supposed to take care of all of her bills and because she said he's not taking care of anything he's not gonna what man is supposed to when he leaves he leaves the household what man is supposed to still take care of the light bills the water bill the cable bill the rent who really he got kids there what about let me say this what do I look like asking my baby daddy, hey, you know what? My life's about to get cut off. He may help or he may cuss my ass out. Who you messing with? You feel me? That's why I make sure I don't get myself in those situations. You know what I mean? Because I, I don't need to sit there and ask my baby daddy, can he help me pay something? You got kids. You got three kids that you need to take care of. I'll figure this out over here. And that's what Liv thinking that, you know, she feels that, oh, we married. Married, marriage is a, is a, is a, is up here. Are we married? We still married. Cause she still, she don't, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, y'all. She don't, um, recognize, <clears throat> she don't recognize the fact that 
it's a separation at this point. She only, she still considered them being fully happy, engaged, all of this. Like, <clears throat> I'm still married at the end of the day. You are still married, absolutely. But both of y'all have stepped out and did whatever y'all did. You know, she wants to bring up, oh, he's been over here and we've slept together. But you know what? If Gerard did do that, I bet you that girl he messing with know about it. Because she bettered him. Liv ain't happy that another woman bettered her kid's father. She always wanted him to be a bum. So she can continue to talk about him. He a bum to her. He ain't never did this. He ain't never did that. She will never in her life get that man props. All she gonna do is no pay me so you can talk to your kids. No, won't you tell them gas to help you with that rent? These gas is running in and out. Help you with that rent. Instead of coming after that man for stupid stuff that he don't got nothing to do with anymore. Y'all, if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. Because like I said, I don't know how that the, 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 the divorce isn't finalized yet. It's not finalized. So... I don't see where in that, I don't know how, I don't know how, because ne I've never been married, and I don't, I've never talked to anybody that has been married and has gotten a divorce to find out that spousal support, alimony, work, I don't know if I'm even saying the right, the right, the right words, because at this point, she's only asking for money because she's being spiteful. Instead of her allowing him to talk to his kids at least, you're being spiteful. You hid her phone to just so you can tell everybody that he don't communicate with my kids. He don't do none of that. You're being spiteful. And it's going to come back and bite you in your ass. And she don't get that. She don't get that. She don't think her shit don't sting. And it does. Because now, Gerard got the upper hand. You know, he served you with papers. You act like you ain't get them. He's trying to be cordial, but you acting like an ass. He's trying to be the better person, but you're trying to make him out to be a monster. You're the monster at the end of the day. You have to let your kids get to know their father you're thousands of miles away but the man said he can come and get his kids you know you say oh they got summer school or he can't come and get them oh girl summer school don't last all summer the month of june and then july he can come and get his kids you're so spiteful and hateful that you don't you you want to continue to say oh, I'm tired, you know, he don't come and get the kids when he's giving you the opportunity, hey, summertime is here. Go ahead. We will come and get the kids for the month of July. For the for the rest of the summer. Till they gotta go back to school. You ain't gotta worry about nothing. You ain't gotta send them no clothes. We got them covered. She's so spiteful because she feel that the kids is going to be around her. And what's the problem with that? Y'all not together and you got your y'all's kids around another guy. Make it make sense. Period. How am I going to be upset that he is, is got the kids around somebody else unless she is doing something to them? And clearly, y'all, we ain't never heard, you know, the kids come back and say anything unless she going to lie and say that they did make it make sense at the end of the day y'all tell me what y'all think you know because this this here is a mess it's a mess it's a mess you know because Liv is a liar Gerard trying to get his his, his it together and she won't let him be great she every chance she get she want to get on there and tell everybody in the world that they stupid. They're liars. Um, y'all don't know what y'all talking about. I can't believe y'all gonna believe him. Well, why should anybody believe you? You have not gave anybody that opportunity to make 
make us believe what you have to say because if you were doing the total opposite of what he said that you're not doing letting him talk to his kids you know accepting you know payment for the kids you know doing all this stuff and we can clearly see that we would believe you then but y'all i'm done ranting and raving um if y'all got something to say truly let me know in the comments down below if you like this video give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and until next time y'all bye